All right, well, good morning. Here's a Sunday morning. Posted my first video last night. Uh, I'm gonna try not to look at it unless I get a comment. I'm obviously gonna reply. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm kind of like a, a little scared to see results right at this point. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna go uh, continue making the videos. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about this uh, saw that I bought, this 12 inch miter saw. I mean, I bought it about two weeks ago. My other one I had was the Ryobi. I bought it manufactured and I had that thing for like probably four years. The thing was really good. I paid like $40 for it. And then the thing just stopped working one day. So I ended up going out and having to buy this 12 inch sliding double bezel miter saw. This thing is freaking unbelievable. Um, I paid 250 bucks for it, which is the reason why and then buy it sooner. I was kind of being on the cheap side. I mean, it's it, the price-wise, it's up there like with all the other brands. Um, but it, it's amazing. Even the saw that it comes with, I feel damn good. You literally could cut anything with it, and it comes out perfect. I was su surprised. I thought I was going to have to spend like thirty dollars on a blade, but I was really shocked to see that that thing is really, really, really good. Um, so I'll talk about that later and I'll drop a link down below. I figured out how to put the hyperlinks from the Amazon for affiliates. So anything bought from the affiliate link will, will help me out. Um, that's how long I try to park it here for my daily coffee. I woke up a little... Actually, I want to go the other way. I woke up a little uh, later today. I went to bed a little late yesterday. I was... Uh, doing the video trying to figure out every time I try to upload it I got one, another error after another error and I don't know why but and then I ended up staying up and trying to figure out the hyperlink situation with the affiliate program on Amazon so that uh, that was good um, so it was kind of worth it I usually go to bed late anyways on Saturdays and Friday nights as late as I possibly can because I get up pretty early to go to work probably something like 5 o'clock so I'm gonna go in now and get my coffee and then when I come back out I'll continue this video <coughs> alright I'm back from getting my coffee um, hopefully I'll be able to walk through my house and start my, my, my videos in the house just hoping my daughter lights up a little bit still a little I'm embarrassed of you doing this. I uh, ordered this awesome selfie stick. It's really supposed to be good for, for vlogging and everything like that. Um, just, I don't know, everything's taking forever to come in. Everything. Mother's Day, I bought something for my mother in law, it still didn't come in. A week going. I got these. Um, I mean, even Amazon is taking forever to do stuff. I got these uh, strawberry cereal bars, these protein bars from Amazon. I've been eating them for years now. Um, you, I'll, I'll leave a link down below. I, I found them on Amazon now for the same price as Walmart, so I figured with my Prime, I might as well use it. So instead of me having to go to Walmart and get tortured every time I need them, because if I buy them here at Cumberland Farms, they're $2.20 each plus tax. Because they're not considered food. I don't understand why. Um, so you, you basically just, you eat one and it fills you up. They're so good, they're tempting to eat two. But you do not want to eat two. Because you will be dropping bombs like Hiroshima. Trust me. I used to eat like three of them back in the day. It was so good. But you know, just, just eat one, believe me. Um, so I got a, well, my first comment yesterday, thanks Logan, uh, that was really nice, that felt good actually, it was like within an hour of me posting, which is really, really good, so, uh, I'm gonna go with Providence Bagel, this is one of my second runs of the, of the weekend for Providence Bagel, until next weekend, and today, which I never go to Home Depot, I actually have to go to Home Depot because there's this paint that they sell, Olympic, in the super ultra bright white, and it's the best white I've ever seen for like trim work. It's just an amazing white. And they used to sell at Lowe's, but I don't know what happened with their contract with Lowe's. 
for some strange reason it's uh it's not there no more so they started pushing their other brand that they had and they, their white's not as bright as the olympic one so today i have to go to home depot so i'm gonna go do that so i can paint I'll, uh, i plan on going through my uh my clubhouse this week on my video camera We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> but I'm definitely going to show you guys the, uh, the saw. It's really, really good. I wish I bought it at Christmas time because um, at Christmas time it was like 215 <clears throat> with a coupon that they offered. But I was being really cheap, so I didn't buy it. Plus, I didn't really need it at the time. I wanted it, so I, I didn't buy it. <laughs> But now the price jacked up like every day went up like three or four dollars until eventually it just settled at two forty nine. But I, I will say it is very very good quality. Even the blade itself, I'm shocked by. I mean, I've already been cutting a lot for the past couple of weeks, a lot of like slide, side cuts for molding, and it's been coming out really good, very good. Like the, the visible part, depending on how you flip the board, you can cut it is. It is where it's gonna be like really clean so I usually keep that part facing up so it comes out nice and clean because in the bottom usually you always have those little pieces that look really ugly so but I mean this thing smooth very smooth and it's not as loud it takes off as soon as you click the handle it just starts right up and that's another that's just one of my favorite tack life products that they have they got a lot of stuff that I buy like even the even the Allen wrenches are just clearly rebranded from some manufacturer. I mean, it's the same exact ones that Amazon Basics uses as their own house brand, and it, it those things are fantastic, man. They don't even sh like strip or anything. Really good quality stuff. I have these precision screwdrivers that I bought from them. It's a little tiny box, and it has like all those little settings that you would use, and um. It's like an uh, aluminum handle, and it's got weight to it, and it has like that, 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 that thing in the back, like when you're screwing in, you can feel it like rubbing up against your hand, and uh, yeah, that, that thing is like really good quality. I bought one of those Aurea ones that everybody was always talking, saying that it was good. So I finally bought one of those, and when I got it, I, I was a little disappointed on the quality, because it felt like just cheap Chinese plastic and it literally it, it, it kind of felt like it it had the name on it I, I don't think it was fake because I actually bought it on Amazon with a promo code <coughs> but, yeah so I'm gonna go get my bagel right now yesterday I I had a video a story I was telling about my car getting fixed by somebody here in my area and how that was such a tragically big huge disaster so I'm gonna drop that f that footage into th today's video um, because yesterday's video was gonna be too long and I, I was it was gonna be too long it was like 10 minutes of conversation that that line is so big and when something happened over there they shut down the whole line and I don't know I wasn't about to sit in line for 12 minutes waiting <laughs> too bad. Damn it. It's like part of my routine, man. Now I feel like I woke up on a different side of the bed. Crap. Well, I'm off to Home Depot right now and to get my paint so I can stop painting my trim work. I can't wait. My daughter starts driving with me and like because when I'm doing this, she's totally, like I said, she's so against it. It's so funny. We have so much fun when we're in the car together. <laughs> I can't wait till she just lightens up. It's so funny. The stuff we talk about is hilarious. She's like my little mini twin, man. Yeah, she's awesome. Alright, I gotta turn this off because I, I gotta figure out that. I know there's a bridge that's closed over here, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get around it. Um, I'll put a link for those bars that I was talking about in the description, along with the saw. One, you know, and it'll, it'll be there. 
and I'll put a link also for those uh, precision screwdrivers. They're really awesome. I'll uh, eBay usually has them for about ten bucks. Um, but it's one of those things like somebody posts it to sell it, and those things just fly off the shelves. But I'll put the Amazon link for that. It's a really good, really. I mean, it, when I when I opened that, I was really surprised. I, I actually don't even want to use it. I'm afraid that they're gonna get like bent or something for putting too much pressure. You know, you're only supposed to put a little bit of pressure. They're not meant to be, you know, driving screws into your house walls and doors and things like that so they're very they're good for fixing glasses and things like that really good uh, take it apart I took apart a Wi-Fi camera uh, the other day and I had to pop some things apart everything's popped in and they had screws too so when I got to the screws I used the, I used the little precision screw drivers the bits to take it apart I was using it for my 3d printer because I wanted to put a uh, Wi-Fi uh, camera on my printer so when I was printing I could see if all hell is breaking loose because there's been a couple times I went there and my my 3d printer had plastic all over the freaking place it was crazy man so that's why I wanted to make to watch it and I, I, I got this like um, smart plug where I could just shut the power off in case that happens when I'm watching the Wi-Fi camera on my 3d printer I could just cut it off so it doesn't keep wasting my plastic. Because I only print with PLA. I don't really have a reason for anything else. Uh, but I'll show off the 3D printer soon. I finally, I, I, ha I installed an auto bed leveler, but I can't get the damn thing to work. I've tried everything. I, I've downloaded the, the custom firmware from the, the manufacturer, <coughs> which has the offsets just, just right. But I, I still can't get it. It prints fine when, with the leveler, but the thing is, is the, the sensor, when it comes down and hits the bed, the tip is still off by twice the, the height it should be. So then I go in there and I try to adjust it with washers. I, like I'll add washers, I'll remove washers, something like that. So this way I can uh, I have it drop just right. And I even got those um, those like st things to, to remove the springs. I got that so this way you don't have the springs no more. It's already auto. It's always going to be the same level. And that just made it worse. So I had to remove those. I put left just the springs in. Then I let the auto bed, bed leveling thing do its job. And it's, I still got no results. I mean it's just... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So I figured... Once I get my room fixed up and I get everything situated because I got my stuff like everywhere from moving it around and then I'll just go find some time to fix that properly. I know I will. It's just right now is I got so many things going on. My room, work, being a daddy, husband, and then now YouTubing. <laughs> so I have to find time for everything and the most important things I have to really stay my focus. So I'm just gonna it's printing, so I'll I'll take that as long as it keeps on printing. And then the love auto bed leveling thing I'll figure out later. So for now I, I'm recording in the car most of the time, but when my when I have time at home, like later today when I do the whole thing with the saw, I'll I'll have my camera in the house. But right now it's just in the car, and like I said, my daughter's very shy about this whole thing, so I don't want to upset our friendship. Um, Alright guys, I'm going to Home Depot, I'm getting off the exit right now, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys this awesome, uh, the way this, this side just cuts fantastic. So it's got the stock blade on it that it came with, and it's a double bezel. In the back it's got the locking mechanism that it'll always go 45 on to one direction and then when you want it to go to the other direction just unlock it and it comes freely all the way like either, either direction so I always keep it locked and when I need it I'll just unlock it um, I have the stand for when but I haven't put it together yet so uh, so now I'm going to show you how to clean this cut
stock bleed that came out absolutely perfect. No problem whatsoever. It is, it is a slider. Stock blade, I think that's pretty good. So this thing will cut unbelievable. This is a piece of like plastic. I use this for trim work in like the kitchen we mop the floor constantly. Right here, and just 